We start getting a lot of uh, milkies and spinner sharks up at Mtanzini. I'm just going to show you a double hook tray set we've used for quite a few years and works extremely well. Basically what we require for that would be some, flow, uh, some foam, our ring sui 4-0 or 5-0, it's up to you, our Kingfisher thin latex cotton, our combo swivel 5 and 6, it's the smaller swivels that uh, we actually do, it works extremely well for this trace. Hook snoot is 19 kilo. Our main line is 25 kilo. Sinker of your choice, but uh, preferably a cone sinker with a little clip on it. And then our AFW 65 pound uh, Surflon Supreme. It's 49 strands, very flexible, it works extremely well for these milkies. Okay, let's start off with, let's just grab a hook and again like I said it's a double hook trace so I'm going to take two of them out take our lines away that away okay <coughs> to tie the trace it's very very simple take our hook Go through the eye, and I'm battling to see, so I better put my glasses on. There we go, much better. So what we do is we basically take the wire through the eye, over the finger once, twice, forming our figure of eight, turn it around and go through. There we go, there's our figure of eight. Very important that you keep your your fingers, these two fingers, inside the actual wire just until you've actually pulled it tight. There we go, pull the knot tight, a little bit of lubrication there and all we're going to do is just slide it all the way down. And once again, pull tight. I just like to squeeze it at the back a bit, it just stops it from un coming undone and this uh, Micro Supreme is so soft and supple sometimes it does unknot itself cut it as close as we can give ourselves about 20 centimeters there cut first one done again I'm going to do the exact same thing again through the eye around twice all we're doing is making a figure of eight nothing fancy about it there we go pull tight Stick that in there, and again, pull tight, bit of lubrication on it, and slide it down. Just squeeze it, it just bites in better, so the knock doesn't come undone. There we go, again, 20 centimeters. This Micro Supreme, guys, is absolutely phenomenal stuff. It is soft, it's supple, it ties a good knot. Um, it's easy to work with. It's not hard on the fingers either. Stuff works extremely well. Okay, 19 kilo. This is our hook snooting. To tie the knot, all we're going to do is basically go around three times with the nylon. It's pretty much the same as making a grey shark trace. There we go, there's the figure of eight. Lubricate. Change it around again. Take the wire now and go around once, twice. There's our figure of eight. Pull tight. Simple as that. Slide the nylon down to where the knot actually is. And you don't want to pull it too tight yet. So you just want to pull the Micro Supreme half tight, if you can call it that, until it looks like that, and then pull the nylon until the nylon's tight, and then you really give it a good, a good pull. Just to lock that Micro Supreme in place, and that's it. Cut off the tag end, 
as close as you want. Take your mustard scissors and you'll just cut that off so it's all nice and neat as you can see there. We make it about 30 to 40 centimeters long and just give it a little bit of a snip. We will cut it down, don't worry about that too much. Let's just do the second one. <coughs> okay, and exactly the same. Nylon three times around, back through to form our figure of eight. There we go. We'll wire twice around, once, twice. There we go. Grab our wire and just give it a little bit of a yank. Take our nylon. Pull as tight as you can on it. And then make sure that the wire is pulled tight up against the nylon now. Ah, there we go. Done. And again, cut the nylon off as close as possible. Now what we want to do for the main line is we take heavier line, 25 kilo Kingfisher, make it about a meter in length. So we'll just cut it off there. Take two of our uh, combo swivels. Remember with a combo swivel, the big eye goes to the top. Normally that's where your leader would be. So the big eye goes to the top of your line, or your leader, the small one in a straight line, okay, the bottom one in a straight line. So we're just going to do a figure of eight, two, three times. There we go. Lubricate. Slide down. Get a meter in length. The bottom hook is attached to the big eye. And we just take some more 25 kilo for our sinker snooting. Grab it quickly. So again, let's just do this, one, two, three times around, cut it off as close as you can, okay, now we attach our sinker, preferably one that's got a clip on it, or you can use your own clips, it's up to you. Okay, so basically this is what this trace looks like so far, is your sinker and your two power swivels. Now all we're going to do is attach our hooks, first one, we'll do the bottom one first. we like to do is just measure how long we want it to be because we want to clip this bottom one we make it slightly shorter than the rest of it so we're going two three a bit of lubrication there and slide and cut so you can see basically that's the length that we want to do is that one we actually want to hook up? Okay, next one. Through the eye, and you don't want this one to be too long. Shorter is better for the top hook. Okay, 
So basically that's the top hook and that will be the bottom hook. Okay, now what we're going to do is put some foam on it because we want to float this hook up. The bottom one we don't worry about too much. Okay. A latex cotton, like a foam. Preferably red, because you're, when you're fishing for milkies and spinners, you want a big fleshy bait. So let's just do this. Chocker works extremely well as well for them. So what we do is we put one slither of chocker on each hook and then wrap it with sardine, red eye, mackerel, any big bloody bait that we can get our hands on. There we go. Okay, so that now would be the completed milky trace or spinner trace that we'd use at Umtanzini when targeting those fish or Richards Bay. Remember the difference between a milky and a spinner when it comes to identifying them is that the milky's second dorsal and anal fin don't line up. Okay? So the second dorsal and the anal fin don't line up. They had a funny angle like that. So if it's any other fish species where it's top to bottom that's the spinner, the milky is totally different. You'll see that the second dorsal lies further back on the actual fish. Okay. Completed trace. And this is the total length of it when finished.